Okay, in this I'm going to show you how to add an image in the background, or a video rather, in the background where you can actually make it small or large, whichever you prefer, within OBS. It's rather simple. To do that, I've cleared all my devices on the sources. Um, if you've watched my other previous videos, I didn't want this to be too confusing, so I just left this here. Now to do this, you want to click on the plus button, like you see right here, and you want to add a media source. It's that simple. And you can leave this blank, or you can call it anything you want. I'm just going to rename it to something like intro, something like that. Now, you're going to browse for the file. And in this case, I know it's on the desktop, the file that I'm looking for, even though I've got a lot of files. Uh, I did a small introduction video just recently that I did for myself. I believe I will go with this one right here. So now I have it in here. Now you have an option and I'm going to show you. Here's the video itself. Now it's full screen. You don't want to leave it really full screen. You can keep it like that. It kind of looks tacky if you leave it like that. Um, but if you want, you can make it a little bit smaller. Bring it down here. And if you want to get fancy with it, you can. People can still read it if it's like this. But the thing is, once this is done playing, that's it. It disappears. If this is what you want, that's great. But let's say you want it to run continuously. What you can do is, if you look at the intro, right click, and then properties, and then you click check on loop, just like that. So click OK. Now this video is gonna just run continuously, nonstop, the entire time that you are recording with OBS, or the entire time that you are live streaming. So that sits there in the background the entire time. So if you want something big and bulky like that, you can, or you can shrink it down. You can have any kind of video you want. Make sure it's not copyrighted, uh, because if it's copyrighted, then you have to worry about copyright claims and stuff like that. So you want to try to make sure it's your own material. If it's your own video, for example, Green Bay Wacky has his cheese hat song. He could have that sitting down in the corner and just run continuously if he wanted to do that. Now, you can get as fancy as this uh, with this as you want, but this is just showing you how to add a video to it. We will get, in, get into adding green screen and stuff like that down the road, but that covers this aspect of adding video to your live stream or to your current OBS. 